Hey, this is Josh Anderson with BagpipeMaster.com. Today we're learning Scott and the Brave. Uh, go ahead and pull out your sheet music. If you don't have it, go to my website, sign up on my newsletter, and I'll instantly send you your own copy along with a few other tunes. So pull that out. Uh, I want to first focus on the, on the sheet music, and then once we look at that, we'll kind of go back and forth between that and the chanter. So, let's go take a look at the sheet music. Starts out on the E, goes to a low A, there's a gray stone there. This thing is called a terlua. It's basically, you go to a low G, play a D grace note, and then as you go to the next note, you play an E on it. So it's a dun, 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 B. This guy is called a C doubling, where all you do is you play a G grace note and a D grace note while you're on the C. So it's just, it just sounds like a dun, dun. And then as you drop down to the low A, you play a E grace note, another C doubling. This is a high A doubling and also a A strike. So as it goes da da di da da da, I'll show you that on the channer. This guy is called a grip. It's almost the exact same as what's over here. The only difference is you leave off this E. So as you're playing the A, you drop down to a low G, play your D tap, and then bump up to the high A again. Da 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 dun dun da D C tap da da dum with the E grace note. All right, good. Let's go ahead and uh, pull out our chanter, get our metronome ready, and we'll play through it. Let's break that down now. We started on the E. Went to a low A with a grace note, a trilua, which consists of going to a low G, a D grace note, and then as you go to the A, you play an E grace note. Then you go up to the C, and as you go to the C, there's a C doubling, so you play a G grace note and a D grace note. Then as you go down to the low A, you play an E grace note, go into the low A. Then from the low A to the C, it's a C doubling. Just a reminder, that C doubling consisted of a G grace note and a D grace note. Good, that's the first measure. Now let's play the second measure. Let's break that down. That consisted of an A doubling. The A doubling is just you're on the A and then you play, play a little strike and then the next movement is another strike. Pretty easy. And then from the A we go down to a, a grip and a grip is basically you drop down to the low G so you have to cover all these holes and this hole, everything's covered. And then you play a D grace note, and then you pop back up to the A. And it's important when you pop back up to the A that your pinky finger on the bottom hand pops up as well. So it looks like this. Pretty easy. And then down to the E, C doubling. E grace note going to the A. Good. Let's play through that line with the metronome. One, two. Second line. It starts out with a throw on D. Now this may look hard, but it's really actually quite easy. All a throw on D is you go to a low G, then you go to a D, and you play a little C tap. So it's bum ba dum. 
up to the F, G grace note. Ra, da, 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 C tap, E, da, da, C, I'm sorry, C doubling, C doubling again, down to a low A with the E grace note. Da, da, dum, da, da, dee, dee, dee. This guy is a E doubling, and this is a, I guess I should mention, it's so similar to this one, and they're almost the same. This is basically a B doubling, where all you do is you play a G grace note, a D grace note, while you're playing a B. That's it. So it's a D, G grace note, D grace note on a B. This one, G grace note, F grace note, while you're playing an E. Da da, dee dee dee, E tap, where you just tap the E and it drops it down to the A. Da dee da da da. Just going down the scale, G grace note, G grace note, D grace note. Okay, let me play the second line, third measure. Let me break that down. It starts with the throw on D. The throw on D consists of going to the low G, to the D, with a C tap. That's all a throw on D is. Then it goes to the F with the G grace note, D, and then C doubling. Then it goes to the E, C doubling, and then E grace note on the A. Good. Fourth measure. That consists of going to a, a B doubling, which is very similar to the C. It's just played on a B. You play a G and a D grace note. Then to an E doubling, which goes to the E, consists of a G and an F grace note. Then with the E strike, F, G grace note on E, going down the scale, D, C, B. And as you go to the C, there is a grace note there, and also on the B, there's a D grace note. Let's go through the second line, measures 3 and 4, together with the metronome. And I still have it at 56 beats. Third line. Not much to show here. It's the exact same as the first line. We already know this. Same through Lua, same C doubling. Everything is the same. I guess one minor difference is this one has a pickup note and this one does not. Let's play through it with the metronome. Fourth line. Same throw on D as the second line. Same grace note, same everything, C doubling, E, C doubling, down to the low A. That is all the same there, so we already know up to this point. The only minor difference is, is after you play the B doubling, just like you did there, instead of going up, we actually go da da dun da dun and then we start to pick up to the next line, da di. So that's really all there is. It's just a B doubling, da da. D grace note on the low A, dun da dun, da di. Fourth line, seventh measure, is the exact same as the second line's uh, third measure. So that's convenient. It goes like this. <laughs> And then the eighth measure on the fourth line 
starts the same as the second line. The difference is it goes down to a low A with an E grace note. And then it goes B and then back to the A with a D or a G grace note. And then it starts to pick up for the next the next line. Da -de -de -de. So it's just a nice pickup there. Line number four with the metronome. One, two. Okay, fifth line. This is the exact same. This ninth measure is the exact same as the second measure on the first line. And then once again, it almost repeats that. Only difference is it goes up to E. Let me go ahead and play the fifth line, ninth measure. Let's break that down. It starts on the A with a strike, and then another strike, and then a grip. So that A, then another strike, grip. The grip, you're on the A, and to go to the grip, remember, low G. Low G. That's all it is. E, doubling, and then down to the low A with a E grace note. Tenth measure. Almost identical to the previous measure, the only difference was that ending, instead of going to a low A from the doubling, it goes, it goes up to the E, pretty much the same. Okay, let's go ahead and play the fifth line with the metronome. One, two. Sixth line. Da -da, da -da -da -da. So that's a minor difference. You hold that a little longer, and then you cut down to this as an F doubling. So you play a F, G grace note, F. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Once again, an F doubling. Da -da -da. So you go A, F, G, a, F, G, F, E doubling, which is the G, F grace note, going down to the D, C doubling, B. Da, 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 da. And it leads into the next line. Okay, we're on the sixth line. And the sixth line goes like this. That's how the measure on the sixth line goes. It starts with that high A doubling, another A strike, G, and then the F doubling goes to the F with a G grace note. That's all the F doubling is. Again, then back to the A, and then the next, the next uh, measure, the, I'll go ahead and play it through the next measure. Let's break that down. F doubling again. A, and then it goes to a F, G. That's all that grace note is. Again, it's the A, 
and then you play an F grace note, then pop to the G. E doubling, D, C doubling. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and play through line number six with the metronome. One, two. Seventh line. This is the exact same as earlier line number one and line number three. We already know this one. So let's go ahead and just play it with the metronome. We already know this one. One, two. Last line, very similar to other lines, this will be the exact same as the third measure, which is on line number two. But uh, that throw on D. And this is here the minor difference. B doubling to a low A, B, and then G A. Da 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 last measure, measure number 16, it's a B doubling to a low A with a grace note, B, and then a G, A. Okay, let's play through the very last line with the metronome. One, two. Okay, I know we've really dissected Scott and the Brave piece by piece, but I'd like to actually go through the entire tune again without any interruptions and playing it just slightly faster so you can get a feel for how it really sounds. Okay, let's go ahead and play through the entire song with the metronome, and I sped it up to 60 beats this time. One, one, Scott and the Brave. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like it. And you can leave a comment. And also be sure to join me on my website, bagpipemaster.com. And thank you again.